As Canada reconsiders its purchase of America's fifth-generation F-35A stealth fighters, the UK has indicated it is open to welcoming Canada into its sixth-generation global combat air program. Indeed, there has been no firm confirmation that Canada will join the UK, Japan, and Italy in the Global Combat Air Program to develop a next-generation fighter jet. However, recent developments suggest that the UK is open to the possibility and some interest has been expressed in Canada potentially participating. In response to a parliamentary question in early 2025, UK Defence Minister Maria Eagle stated that while Canada is not currently a partner, all three Global Combat Air Program nations have highlighted an openness to working with other nations, provided it aligns with the program's delivery schedule and military capability goals. This openness is partly driven by strategic considerations, such as Canada's membership in the Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance and its defense ties with the UK. Canada's potential interest in Global Combat Air Program could stem from its need for a future fighter beyond its recent commitment to purchase 88 F-35 jets, which are set to begin in 2026. Analysts have noted that Canada might seek a sixth-generation platform to complement or eventually replace these aircraft. Some defense commentary also speculates that Canada, alongside Australia, might see the Global Combat Air Program as an attractive option, though no official Canadian government statement has confirmed this. Whether Canada ultimately joins depends on its long-term defense strategy, budget availability, and the evolving dynamics of the Global Combat Air Program partnership. Is joining the Global Combat Air Program a genius idea for Canada? The Global Combat Air Program is an ambitious initiative by the UK, Japan, and Italy to develop a sixth-generation stealth fighter jet by 2035. Canada, which is not a member, is considering whether joining this program would be a brilliant strategic move. The answer hinges on weighing significant benefits against notable risks. Why it could be a genius move? Joining Global Combat Air Program offers Canada several compelling advantages. The Global Combat Air Program promises a cutting-edge fighter with advanced stealth, AI integration, and next-generation sensors capabilities that surpass the fifth-generation F-35 jets. This technological edge could be a game-changer for a nation tasked with defending vast airspace, including the strategically critical Arctic. Participation could invigorate Canada's aerospace industry, creating high-tech jobs and opening doors to innovative research and development. Canadian firms might secure contracts or contribute specialized expertise, for example in AI or cold weather operations, enhancing the nation's industrial base. Joining Global Combat Air Program could be a genius idea for Canada if the country prioritizes long-term technological superiority. It's a forward-thinking move that could position Canada as a leader in military aviation and bolster its economic and strategic standing. In essence, it's a brilliant idea for a Canada that is ready to bet big in the future but it's risky for a Canada that is focused on immediate needs or fiscal caution. The decision demands a clear-eyed assessment of national priorities and resources. The Global Combat Air Program is a collaborative defense project launched in December 2022 involving the United Kingdom, Japan, and Italy. It seeks to create a next-generation manned fighter to replace older platforms like Eurofighters and F-2, ensuring technological sovereignty and interoperability with existing systems like the F-35. 
The program is expected to conduct its first test flight in 2027 and to enter service by 2035, with advanced features including AI integration, next-generation sensors, and enhanced stealth capabilities. According to recent reports, Global Combat Air Program is in an active development phase with significant progress noted. Approximately 9,000 people are currently working on the program globally, including 3,000 in Italy. The program is projected to create 8,600 new jobs in Italy over the next 35 years. The program has a production target of 350 units by 2035, with a total investment estimated at $43.4 billion. For Italy, Global Combat Air Program offers industrial benefits, workforce development, and strengthened NATO-EEU cooperation. The March 2025 study recommends a whole-of-country approach, investments in classified infrastructure, and early technology sharing agreements to maximize benefits. For the UK and Japan, it reinforces defense ties and technological leadership. The program's openness to new partners, such as Canada, could accelerate development but requires careful negotiation. So, Global Combat Air Program is a pivotal program shaping the future of aerial combat with significant progress but notable challenges. Its success will depend on managing costs, meeting deadlines, and navigating governance complexities, making it a critical watchpoint for global defense dynamics.